What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? Recently the iOS 13.5 jailbreak came out and it occurred to me that there's probably a lot of you guys that are new in the community. Some of you guys might not even know what to install or where to even start. That's why in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a beginner's guide to jailbreaking. In this video, you'll see 40 free iOS 13.5 must-have jailbreak tweaks. Whether you're brand new in the community or it's been a few years, this guide will help you find the best tweaks to have on your phone. Of course, all of the tweaks talked about will be down below in the description along with their repos as well. Alright guys, let's get started. Swipe for more is a very useful jailbreak tweak that allows you to delete, queue, and reinstall jailbreak tweaks in Cydia with ease. All you have to do is swipe to the left on a tweak, and as you can see, now we are reinstalling tweaks that I already currently had installed. If there's a tweak conflict and I have to bulk delete or bulk reinstall tweaks, this would come in handy. Say you queued up a bunch of packages, but then you realize you also want to install something else. Dismiss Progress lets you close out of the Cydia window instead of restarting your springboard when you're done installing something. That way you can get right back into the action. If you're looking for some easy ways to respring your device, you can just pull down on the settings page with drag spring, and there you go. You can also use dock spring and pull up on your dock to respring your device. Tweaks that allow you to respring a little bit easier and a little bit faster are definitely a good idea in the long run. Once you're bulk installing a lot of tweaks and fully customizing your device, you realize how often you respring. Maybe it's been a number of years since you've even used an iPhone and you're using it while jailbroken for the first time. Unlock sound can bring back that familiar unlock sound that you're normally used to hearing in iOS. With Shortcut Enabler, you can enable the flashlight and the camera shortcut that iPhone 10 style devices get on non-compatible iPhones. This works perfectly for something like the iPhone SE 2020, which doesn't have the shortcuts. Invisible shortcuts is for somebody that has an iPhone 10 style device and they don't like those shortcuts. Either way, it's great to be able to customize your device the way you want it. A few years ago, if you wanted to customize the way that your device looked, you would use Winterboard. Well, nowadays, using a tweak called Snowboard, you can achieve the same effect. With Snowboard, though, there's a bunch of things that are even built into this tweak. For example, the circular icons I have on my device right now isn't even a theme, it's just something that I can customize my device with with this tweak. In the settings, you can also do things like changing the icon scale and hiding the labels, as well as actually applying a theme. The theme I have on my device right now is called Splendor, and it's also free. Files of File Manager is a really convenient tweak to have in order to be able to actually see the root file system of your device. This tweak can also come in handy if you're installing a beta of a tweak, for example, because you can install .deb using this on device. However, new jailbreakers have to be careful. If you mess with one wrong thing on your device using this, it can seriously mess it up. Power Module adds the ability to quickly switch between different system power options. With this tweak, you can add the ability to reboot, respring, and enter safe mode, and even more, all straight from Control Center. In regular iOS, if you have low power mode on, auto lock is locked at 30 seconds. LPM auto lock time simply removes this restriction in low power mode. Instead of 30 seconds, I have auto lock set to 1 minute, and you can see it right there. AirPods case low battery is a convenient tweak if you use your AirPods a lot. Have this tweak installed, set a time interval, and open up the AirPods case, and you can see this tweak will give you a notification when your battery is running low on the AirPods case. My battery was going to take forever to drain on my AirPods in this video, so that's why I had it set at 92%, but you can set it at something like 20%. Devices can only detect a case's battery while the AirPods are in the case and while it's open. More information can be found in the tweak's description. You can't talk about must-have tweaks without talking about Cylinder. Cylinder is the modern-day replacement to Barrel, which back in the old days used to be a huge groundbreaking tweak that everyone would install. This tweak lets you add cool page-to-page -page transitions. So Dolphin iOS is not so much a tweak as it's more of an app, and this isn't even exclusive to jailbroken devices anymore. You actually can get this running on non-jailbroken devices as long as it's on a pre-13.5 firmware. This lets you play your favorite GameCube or Wii games on your iPhone. It's really cool. I've made a few videos about this already. If you want to check them out, they'll be in the description as well as in the cards. 
Exact time shows you the exact time of a notification. If you have an iPhone 10 style device, you need to download Auto Unlock 10. This automatically unlocks your device when Face ID is present instead of you having to swipe up. This is very convenient. 5Doc13 allows you to place five icons in your dock. Tap Tap Lock lets you conveniently double tap your device in order to lock it. iCleaner allows you to clean up your device and get rid of a lot of unwanted files and save you some space. Volume Percent shows you your device's volume percentage in the volume HUD. I don't know why this is in stock, but it definitely is great to have. Volume Step 13 allows you to change how quickly your volume goes up or down. This is kind of hard to show off on video, and I think it still works on 13.5, but it is pretty cool. If you've ever used your iPhone as a flashlight and then completely forgot that you had your flashlight on, Oh My Flash will allow you to set a time interval for when you want your flashlight to turn off. I have mine set for one minute, and as you can see, after a minute, it goes off. With Barmoji, you can get a bar with your most frequently used emojis at the bottom of your device. It's super easy to just tap on the emoji you want, and you can just get at it that way. Stick Around allows you to pin different things in the settings page to the top instead of having to scroll all the way down just to find it. Preference Organizer 2 allows you to organize your settings page by system app, by tweak, and things like that to go for a cleaner look in your settings page. With Tweak Count 2, Insidia, you can see how many packages you have installed. Normally in iOS, if you want to go in between words, you have to hold down the space bar, but with any key trackpad, I can press and hold on any key on my keyboard, and I can switch in between different things that I typed. Quit All is an awesome tweak that I wish was in regular iOS. This looks super clean and also stock as well. This tweak places a clear button on top in the app switcher, so all I have to do is just tap on that clear button and it quits out of all of my apps. Pancake is a cool tweak that lets you swipe from anywhere on the screen to go back instead of just swiping from the corner. Activator just recently got updated for the newest devices, and with a simple activator gesture, you can see I'm tweeting directly from my home screen. There's so much more that this tweet can do, and if you want a little bit more insight on the stuff that it actually can do, I might make a follow-up video. With Reprovision, you can automatically re-sign your favorite applications. On iOS 13.5, this is a little bit broken, but I think it still sort of works. Hopefully at some point this can be fully fixed, but normally it lets you automatically re-sign any applications that you want as long as you are in a jailbroken mode. Definitely a great tweak. With Tweak Compatible, you can see what tweaks are compatible for your device and for your iOS version. Since this is a newer jailbreak, a lot of the things that are coming up in Cydia have question marks next to them because they haven't been submitted as being compatible for my iOS version. However, next to Cylinder, you can see that there is a check mark, and at the bottom, you can see that it says it's working. If we tap on the search bar, you can see a result comes up indicating that it does work on iOS 13.5. With Dawn, you can customize your iOS dark mode experience by turning on dark mode for some UI elements and turning off dark mode for other UI elements. You can do this with banners and notifications. As you can see, I am in dark mode, but I have a light notification, and I can also do this for things like the dock and a bunch of other things as well. Send delay allows you to delay a message or completely cancel it from sending. This can be convenient if you're texting the wrong person by accident or if you spelled something wrong. Having the ability to be able to do this is really awesome, and it could even be a lifesaver. Drag Enabler allows you to bring the iPad native drag and drop feature over to iPhone. If you want to completely change your notch and make it look different, Egg Notch can help you out. Globe Alarm Settings allows you to change different settings for all of your alarms. With one press of a button, I can turn all of my alarms off, and I can also completely delete all of my alarms. When in wiggle mode with size finder, you can see just how much space your apps are taking up. However, thankfully, no functionality is lost because you can still delete applications. All in all, this looks pretty cool and it's a pretty convenient tweak to have. iPadify brings native features from iPad over to iPhone, such as the ability to force picture in picture in a video on Safari or other applications, and also you can sideload exclusive iPad apps over to iPhone. Arch allows you to completely lock down applications with Touch ID or Face ID, so you need to authenticate in order to enter certain applications. All right guys, that pretty much does it for today's video. 
If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. This 13.5 jailbreak so far has been awesome and I can't wait to see what the future for jailbreaking is. This might be the last top jailbreak tweak video I do for a little while, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments and also hit the like button if you want me to do more soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.